other form of media that has more memes come out of it than Spongebob. But we're gonna about to get into our next set here. We've got Pugsy. We got Sandy did us. Oh, the Sandy did Let's go. So yeah, you mentioned at the beginning of the stream, one of the earlier patches uh, for this game actually uh, got rid of a wobble that Sandy had with jab resets uh, that is no longer in the game. So we're not gonna see that in this match. So I wonder if uh, both these players pick up the character with that tech being in place at the beginning or if they just are you know big sandy fans yeah uh i mean we'll definitely, we'll definitely uh see i mean who knows I mean, sometimes things change and people want to start playing different characters and it's, it's like we've said you know for such an early game sometimes another character just fits your style more you haven't given them that shot but right now drip skylark putting on some strong pressure here pugsy gonna find a great recovery to that platform though oh oh tear and looking all right yeah, that strong forward air is so good. It's reminiscent of just like characters like Inkling, like Diddy Kong and Smash. Um, just super good coverage, super fast, super like it's super spammable, especially if you're able to just like pressure them towards the ledge. Or send the jab resets coming out from Pugsy. Ooh, interesting recovery option. Could have been a really bad moment for Drip Skylark, but gonna be able to land safely some way, somehow, and takes a stock right back. Great forward strong. Yeah, potential missed opportunity there. Uh, you know, it's so easy, especially if you're not used to this kind of game, uh, to hold shield at ledge and try to punish with um, a shield grab. But I want to see some more uh, teeters. Yeah, we'll definitely uh, after uh, see that pressure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right, oh, like right there. Trips are just holding shield at ledge. Uh, Pugsy doing a great job calling that out. Doesn't get the maybe the punish on that that they were looking for. Um, maybe they weren't even expecting them to get the teeter, but. Mm. Uh, I, I, yeah, I want to see some more punishes on tier. Okay, ooh, there we go. Nice little recovery option to the middle of the stage, but Pugsy ready to get on top of that. Yeah, you know, really this, good. This patience there. Really good spacing from Drip Skylark on, on the recovery there. Uh, goes right for ledge. Mm -hmm. Drip Skylark going to try to push his advantage. Goes off stage. Doesn't get anything off of it. And Pugsy... Yeah, this is looking a little bit rough for Drip. Ooh. Oh, that was a weak up air. So maybe maybe a strong wave guild. Yeah, I got a nice shield there. Got a little bit of a punish there with the jab. It's the one, two, but Pugsy going to answer right back. Oh, tough spot to be in. Drip Skylark, Skylark not able to convert. Three. Ooh, really good. Okay. I think I wonder if Pugsy was expecting him to go to the ledge. Really good uh, call out from Drip there. Ooh, doesn't, doesn't really get the punish on that. Doesn't get the punish on that. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Jab. <laughs> yeah, jab two is going to uh... kill. Yeah, once you get to like 150, I like on any character, like jab just kills straight up. <laughs> that's that's how strong so many of these moves are in this game. Uh, but great stuff from Pugsy taking that game one. Started to really uh, identify some of the recovery options that Drip Skylark was going to be going for, and then you know got some pretty good punishes out of that. But we're going to be seeing some changes here potentially to another character. Yeah, it looks like we got Lucy Loud coming out from. It's it the name is Pancake, so I don't know. Which of the two that is. And we got a disconnection. Oh, we love let's to see go. it. Some things can't be entirely avoided, but you know what? That's that is how it is. We'll definitely work past it. There we go. There we go. We're back to the Sandy Dale. I'm pretty sure yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think either of these two were actually pancake to begin with. I think someone just accidentally joined the wrong lobby. Oh, quite possibly. We're gonna what? go to Urkin Invasion. Uh, the equivalent of Battlefield for this game, uh, which is honestly, especially for a character like Sanity, like SpongeBob, like Aim, it's just almost pushed that advantage to the point where there was an early, early kill. Yeah, you're going to want to work off of uh, the top platform extension, especially um, with a character like Sanity who has like the boot extensions. Uh, it's just really easy to get skimp your opponent super early on. No, that is, that is definitely uh, super important here. And yeah, like you said, like these triplats, like they're definitely going to allow that combo extension for quite a few characters in this game as well. Uh, I know Danny Phantom has some crazy combos. Yeah, start with from the, the, bottom. the loopy oh, loop. My God. Yep, it, it's absolutely ridiculous. But here we go. Pugsy tried to get some good pressure on the stage, but Drip stayed patient, got a grab. Didn't get too much else out of that, but still doing a great job. As Sandy, it's almost like really hard to get... um a jab lock or a jab reset off of any of your kit just because uh jab actually automatically does the two hits it's not uh you're not locked into a one hit move so anytime you see them doing uh jab one jab two they're just pressing the a button or the equivalent of said button once they're not pressing yeah. it twice um 
So yeah, we see Pugsy going to be the one losing the first stock in this game. Mm -hmm. Yep, there we go. Got that nice light nair, but all of a sudden Drip Skylark back on stage. Did get a little bit of extra credit before losing that stock, but you know, that's not too bad, but it only takes one opening sometimes for Pugsy to absolutely go wild, but Drip continues to pressure here, but all of a sudden it's been reversed. Yeah, we see both Pugsy and Drip trying to go for the uh, up air extensions off of the top platform there, trying to go for the early kill as soon as they can. Good recovery from Drip going high instead of opting to go for ledge. Pugsy, ooh, okay, yep. If I feel like if Drip hit that uh, up air extension, that would have been a kill. Mm -hmm. Oh, Pugsy's gonna keep the pressure on this platform here very, very well. Misses the neutral special. <laughs> Doing some flutter kicks here, trying to find these openings. It's a strong hit. All right, Drip is going to lose his second stock. Pugsy suddenly in the lead all of a sudden. Yeah, Pugsy doing a good job here, keeping that pressure up. Nice punish yeah, out really of the lasso. Mm -hmm. Really good spacing, not getting hit by the lasso move. Oh. oh. Okay. Right. <laughs> we saw the boot extension, yeah. <laughs> goes right off the top. Maybe just didn't have the momentum behind it. Yeah, definitely. It looked like uh, Drip may have been DIing out in a way. Uh, just, you know, just to be able to find some way out of it. Ooh, lands right into the Parry shield. Drip Skylark. The punish. Yeah. Yeah. And suddenly we're down to one stock apiece. Drip Skylark looking a little bit rough, though. I feel like all it's going to take from Pugsy is one up air and up strong conversion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. throwing out Ooh. that double kick move. Oh, this is you're playing some footsies now. And that's the thing is, like, Pugsy still has to respect. Uh, drip here because like we've been mentioning so many times all the, a lot of characters have that uh, kiss of death touch uh, So I mean, oh, but we're not gonna do it. Not the, yeah, we're not got to worry about that at all Pugsy gonna be able to close that one out great stuff So we saw uh, towards the end of that match. I feel like drip Skylark could have Could have survived a little bit longer if they just held shield a little bit more I feel like in a game that's so dependent on spamming aerials, spamming uh, your advantage state, pushing your advantage state, just being able to go for shield and like, you know, because grab is a commitment. Grab is such a commi uh, committal option. Um, if you're in like, it wasn't a last hit situation, but if you're in a last stock situation, you want to go on the defensive and you want to be able to just like keep your, um, you want to win out as many, as many neutral interactions as you can. I feel like holding shield in situations like that, especially if, you know, you're able to recognize that, like, 